In this section, we're going to talk about the limits to human performance. The question is, could we actually make humans run faster, jump higher, lift bigger weights, generally be more athletic than they are at the moment? Or are we up against some pretty hard fundamental limits? We couldn't make humans much stronger. Now, this problem is, of course, of great interest here in Canberra, where the Australian Institute of Sport spend their time trying to improve human performance and get large numbers of gold medals in the Olympics for their pains. But that's very marginal improvement, so shaving a fraction of a second off the sprinting time and things like that. Could you actually have some sort of future evolved human or animal that could do 100 times better than humans? Now we know that if you look at an individual cell for a human, we can calculate the rate at which it burns energy, and there's no fundamental limit there because the same cell in a mouse burns energy about 10 times as fast. So there's no biochemical reason why our cells can't get through energy much faster. If the, all our cells in our body were burning energy at 10 times the rate they are, and that we could therefore do things 10 times faster or stronger, that would count as superhuman. But if it's not the cell biochemistry, what is it that limits what we're doing? I've often wondered. On Earth, we have two families of species. We have plants and animals. And basically, animals do things about 10,000 times faster than plants. A plant has to respond to some change in its environment. It has to grow new branches or leaves to deal with it, whereas an animal can just move around and eat something. Could there be aliens that are or 10 to the 4 times faster than we are? in which case they could land, um, come into your room, inspect every orifice in your body and leave again without you even noticing. In fact, maybe they did while you were reading this. Is there any fundamental reason why that's impossible? On a more practical ground, could we actually build robots or genetically engineer humans that could be much faster? And are superheroes like the Flash that act at a much greater speed actually feasible? Or is there some fundamental limit why those sort of things can't work? Well, as usual, we can investigate this two ways. We can think of the forces involved. How much force can a human muscle exert? And is there any fundamental reason why we couldn't exert you know, 10 or 100 times more? And then we can think about the energy. Irrespective of the exact force, uh, is there a limit to human energy consumption? If so, what is the limit? We'll look through these in turn.